Hello there, Earth Signs. This is Lex, and I'm here to do your What Do You Need to Knows. If you have not already, please subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you're notified when I post new content or go live. Also, if you'd like to reach me directly for coaching, readings, or if you need to stock up on spiritual supplies, check out the website, schedule your appointments, or make your purchases in the shop. Also, if um, you have, if you miss the community road opening, that is okay. I will be doing a community working monthly. So just be um, aware of that. Make sure you subscribe and check out the community tab often. Um, all right. So what we're looking for in this reading, we're looking for any points of focus, things that you should expect, things you need to be aware of or redirect your focus towards and what you can expect within the next upcoming weeks. OK, Earth signs. This is for my um, Taurus. Virgos and Capricorns. All right, so let's get started. Holy Spirit, anoint the cards. Allow them to fall where they shouldn't be. The ability to interpret them the way that I should. Please give me clear, concise messages for Earth signs and what they need to know. Earth signs and what they need to know. What is the main point of focus for Earth signs? Make it plain. Thank you. Earth signs, your main point of focus. It's the Ace of Air and the Queen of Air, okay? Some new idea, okay? A challenging new beginning, okay? Or seeing the truth of a situation. Queen of Air, you could be involved with an air sign, okay? Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. But it says objective decision-making, clearing all that no longer serves you, seeing the humor in a situation. Also, someone who is very realistic, independent, um, independent and experienced, okay? We're going to clarify that a tad further with my angel answer oracle. The angel answer oracle does say compromise, okay? So you could be wanting to cut something off or start something new, okay? And it's coming, uh, or if you're thinking about quitting something, some of you, because it is so challenging, you started out and it's really not turning out to be what you thought it was going to be. And it's telling you to compromise on that. OK, rather than cutting the person completely off, sometimes. It's a good idea to keep people in your pocket or to keep them close or maybe not give up on an idea completely. Just maybe pause it for now. OK, so what I'm going to do is pull some um, life purpose oracle messages for you. Life purpose oracle messages for earth signs. We have talked to your angels, travel and career change. Okay. Instead of worrying, ask for divine guidance. Your life purpose involves traveling. And you're embarking upon a career that brings you the joy and abundance you deserve and desire. Okay. So that could be the compromise you may have. You may be getting the job that you want or the opportunity that you want is presenting itself. Finally, something you've been waiting on, but you may have to travel to get it done. It may be like a constant travel or you may have to actually move. Um, the commute might be long for you or you may have to completely just relocate. But it is telling you objective decision making. OK, seeing the truth of a situation, but also to ask for divine guidance. There is definitely going to be a compromise here in order to get what you want. You're going to have to maybe be a little inconvenienced. Um, like I said, with the travel, that can be an inconvenience for a lot of people, depending on your home situation. All right. So what we're going to do now is we're going to pull some romance angel oracles to see what is going on with you in the love department. OK, earth signs in love. Earth signs in love. We have codependency. Okay. What is going on, Earth signs? We have codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. Unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. And we have romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring, but it is attached and it was stuck to deception. Someone is wearing a false mask in this relationship. So we're going to clarify this a little bit further. That could be um, 
the cutting the people, you know, cutting people off. Anytime I pull up the Queen of Swords, typically in um, the traditional tarot, especially my gilded, it depicts the Queen of Swords holding a very large sword. And that means that you're severing any unhealthy attachments or ties. You could find out that maybe this relationship is one sided. It could be one sided. And, th and now let me explain this to you as well. This does not necessarily mean that someone is being um, unfaithful, um, but it could mean that maybe they're a workaholic or maybe they have a vice that they are addicted to. OK, it could be a substance. It could be work that they're addicted to. They may be a workaholic. They could be addicted to porn. They could be addicted to gambling. They could be uh, have some, you know, um fetish that is causing a rift in your connection okay but romantic feelings are here so i feel that it's not you or them it's 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 the codependency okay that's making it one-sided or maybe somebody's you know only one of you is putting forth the effort let's clarify this further maybe the person is married okay i have the hierophant with the fool and that could be the the the, the complication there okay Normally, I would see um, normally we would typically read the fool as an opportunity or a new beginning or a start or stepping out on faith. But if this is tough, I, I don't see it like that. I'm seeing this one very literally. You're being a fool if you were hanging on to someone who is already attached. OK, because they've been making you empty promises and they're not keeping them and then turn your Efforts are one sided, the unrequited. You're the only one losing in this situation and they're gaining or it could be vice versa. Or if signs, maybe you're the married one and they're not getting what they want out of the situation. OK, but they do have feelings for you. They do care for you. But you're on the outside looking in. OK, if that is not your situation, don't try to make it be your situation. OK. I'm just reading what the cards say. Everything is not going to fit you. If that's not your situation, then that message is not for you. You ain't got to tell me that ain't your situation. Just let it go. It's not for you. All right. So to tie all of this up, we're going to pull a um, Wisdom of the House of Night Oracle message for advice to close your reading out. Okay, Earth Signs. Advice for Earth Signs going forward. And we have fulfillment in number 20. Normally when I get this, we um, course two is for partnerships, the zero, like the infinity, the circle, just like the fool. OK, fulfillment. Are you really being fulfilled? OK, and usually when I pull this, you are either coming to a, a point in your life or signs where you are feeling fulfilled and you're getting the things that you want or it is asking you to take inventory and take a look at your life to determine if your current situation is fulfilling. Okay. All right. You're close to achieving your goals. It says that your needs are being met. Now's the time to integrate and digest what you have learned as of late. Savor every moment and know that every encounter is intended to feed your soul. If it is not, you need to get rid of it. Okay. You are meant to have a rich, satisfying life and taste all that is all that experience has to offer. Look around and recognize all the ways that your life is already full. You have so many reasons to feel good about yourself. All is well and you will be well. So, okay, when you choose fulfillment, all is well and you already know what to do. Okay, and that may either compromising on, like I said, you're giving up something or you may not be getting Everything that you want, okay? Whatever that compromise means to you, just make sure that it's worth it or signs, all right? This is your reading. If this resonates with you, give me a thumbs up, comment below, share it with the fellow earth sign you feel needs to hear the message. Also, if you would like to reach me directly, the link to the website is in the description box. And please do not forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell because we go live every Friday um, evening at 10 p.m. Eastern. Also, I'm doing monthly... Um, community workings, and I have other promotions and sales. So make sure that you are checking the community tab at least weekly. Okay. So until next time, Earth Signs, I love you. Take care.